you? Oh my god, they're fighting. <laughs> I wanted to bring the cats in, but they are incredibly in wild out mode right now. Ooh. Yeah. Like, even Lucy is, like, extremely wild in. Laser, he was up on top of the cat tree, and I usually kind of like, do, 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 and he goes, BAP! I'm like, you, like, slap my face. Oh, he slapped my face. I'm sorry. I did get the weird anime swab. Thank you. I am very, I haven't, like, deeply looked through it yet, but I am excited about it. Yeah. You also play with the cat's wrong, and you know it, and then sometimes it leads to you getting hurt. Well, it shouldn't be so entertaining. Did you say that she plays with the cat's wrong? <laughs> yeah, I sometimes like do things that um, encourage their bad behavior oh. because it is entertaining to me, such as when Laser's on his back on the ground, and I put my foot on his belly, and he attacks it. So I shouldn't encourage yeah, him Jennifer, to attack my feet. It, it, you know, oh, I, I, just, I just want children so much. But Jennifer would be, <laughs> you know, a hor a horrible, horrible mother. <laughs> Does it hurt? Do you ever slap it? No. Why would I slap? Do you it? ever slap it to Jennifer? Does it hurt to Tim? <laughs> uh, it, it just feels like a sunburn right now and just itches. I'm like scared to touch it. I'm very afraid. Of it. I think it leaked out onto our comforter last night. Yeah. <laughs> Because well, I last night I had a re I had a re plastic wrap it so covered in goop put plastic on it and then a mixture of like my night sweat from being inside a a, a plastic biome and yeah, whatever. Do you have to do that again tonight? No. Did you sleep on your buffy comforter? Don't I, be a I, sweaty buddy. <laughs> Even style. I, I I probably stained it with my goo. What's <laughs> up? But also. It's great. I, I love the comfort. But uh, this one itches more than this one. But whenever I move my arm, this one's like, ah, it's real big. I bet it's going to start to feel mm. real rough at some point. But, you know, I'm not too worried about it. Maybe you're just so, um, you're just so tough that it doesn't so bother tough. you. She did make it seem like she hurt me really bad. Because she, she, she's an apprentice and she was talking to the masters. She's like, whew, I, I really beat him up. And because uh, it's like harder to do pastels mm -hmm. or whatever like that. So you have to, she has to really go over it. Uh, mm -hmm. And I, I feel like I have a pretty low pain tolerance. Um, so I was like, this hurts like shit. But also it was enough to, you know, live with. But she's a, she, she did Tim, it. Tim, they're asking for your tad again. Show it off. Show it off, baby. It looks so fucking good. Yeah, so, right, it's, he still needs to heal, so his face right now is kind of fucked up because it's, you know, scabbing. But once that's, it's going to, it actually looks worse today than it did yesterday. I, I was telling Tim that the VNHR is both a baby and a bastard. Yeah. Like, his face is just, like, a little smug, like, yeah, yeah I know. I the, know I'm cute. The whole thing was she's really good at flowers. So I wanted to get a flower tattoo with a Pokemon, so it's like ugly Venusaur, beautiful flower, and that's what I did. Um, and yeah, I'm looking forward to it to heal because right now there's certain parts of it that look sort of inconsistent with like my scabbing. Going. That's just how it goes, though. That's how it goes, though. So I have to see what it looks like, let it heal, and then if there's any touch-ups, I will uh, go back. Man, one thing I was thinking about, because I had been wanting one, like, here on my arm. That means it's like, do, do I just, like, lay back like this the whole fucking time? Yeah. So I sat in a chair with my arm like this. Yeah. And that kind of, my butt started to hurt. It was not a super comfortable chair. Yeah. But, you know, if I, you said if you get, if you want to, you can just lay down. Yeah. Uh, that being said, right back here hurt, like, right here. Yeah. Hurts so much more than I expected. I, I've, I've heard that this hurts. Yeah. This, you definitely this feel isn't bad at all, but, like, back here, was like, that's weird. I I'm just doing scared. Hurt. Like, part of me is, like, if I get it out here, like, you can't, I don't know, I feel like. Why did you need to hide it? That's true. We're all dying. Oh, the true. ocean's boiling and creating flesh eating bacteria that kills us. We yeah. all die. You either kill yourself or get killed. Yeah. Damn. You remember that? No. I feel like y'all aren't as versed in vines as I am. <laughs> Uh, I, I don't know, know that one. And the one where he's like, he's like, he's like, what you gonna do? 
<laughs> what you going to do afterwards now? Look it up. Look it up. It's on the internet. It's all on. You can find it all. It's great. Uh, I love vines. Uh, uh, but yeah, no, uh, this was not a bad area. It was just like all the coloring hurt. Look how much though. Uh, this is sweating. Yeah, it, it's wet. It's very bad. Um, that being said, you know, if you want, if anyone out there in listener land is thinking about getting a tat, do it. it I it was three and a half hours of uncomfortableness, and then like a couple hours of quite a bit of pain. But all that being said, that's not so bad though. Yeah. Like, I feel like... But it wasn't, like, overwhelming, you know? Right. It was like, oh, God, this hurts. But also, like, I'm not trying to run away from it. I think about this a lot. Like, I think that if you <laughs> grow up having periods, you're kind of just used to, like, living with That's true. pain. Oh, <laughs> so yeah. it's I, like... I was like, I, I, I I'm sure this. my pain tolerance is lower than yours. Like, yeah. We all I'm, die. You either kill yourself or get killed. Whoops. I feel like I'm pretty... I feel like my pain tolerance is pretty decent. Yeah, but that's true. Look at my good girl. She's an angel. I had to take her outside because she had to pee. She had to pee. Has she had any more accidents? Um, she had one yesterday, which is the first one she had in a week, which or not a week, but in, since last week. You gonna send her back now? <laughs> yeah. You can't. Just, she just Are you sure it was an accident? No, it might have been on purpose. She's like, fuck you. Fuck you. But look how baby she is. Look how much she wants to be snuggled. She looks so much bigger. She looks so much bigger whenever you had her. There, she looks like a big girl now. Oh, my God. Oh, baby. I want a puppy. Get a puppy. She's very nervous, though. I think this might be a... I'm waiting for one of our cats to die before we get a puppy. Which one? Which one do you have? Well, the older, fatter one. Oh. A good girl. But Amelia wants a dog so bad, she's like, anytime she hears, like, a bark or something, she'll stop anything. She'll just drop it. She'll be like, puppy? Oh! <laughs> oh. I, I love the concept of, like, I love, like, when small children and dogs, like, bond with each other. Yeah. yeah. And, like, grows. and, like, grow up together. Like, that's what I want, but I don't want... I'm, I'm like, I'm not going to say I want one of her cats to die. I don't, but... But... Oh, cats to die. <laughs> Are they bad cats? Uh, the one's kind of... He's, he's a little annoying. He likes to sleep on my pillow, and I know where his butt's been. Oh. <laughs> so meanwhile, our cats are the, the lights of my life, and, oh, yeah. I, and I would die for them. Yeah, we have some of the best cats in the planet. They're, they're we are very lucky. legitimately the best, even though Laser did claw me so bad that I still have a scar from, like, April. <laughs> yeah, that was... That was your fault, but you didn't know at the time. I didn't know. Yeah, yeah. he does not like the fan in the office, and he was very scared and yeah. did his damnness to get away from it, and in the process, clawed the shit out of me. Yeah. So. Oops. Um, all right. Shall we begin? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's I'm going to sleep I'm getting so I tired. I extremely tired. Okay. <laughs> Energy. Uh, <laughs> on <laughs> go. Oh, fuck. <laughs> On go. Three, two, one, go. We're recording. 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 Oh, that's a fantastic. Good girl, Coda. I was trying to get her to come in here, and I think I scared her. Oh. She's like, I'm just going to go pee. She's a nervous girl. Now she's sitting next to me, though. She's my friend. All right. Okay. Uh, y'all, y'all ready for this? Jock jams. Who had the jock jams CD? Yeah, Montel Jordan. Be aggressive. Be aggressive. Be e a g g r e s s i v e aggressive. All right, Jason, we get it. <laughs> you know what? I fucking spell. <laughs> Way to learn over us. Oh, what, you think uh, you got some fancy learning? <laughs> You're allowed to be on the cheerleading squad. <sighs> Alright, shall we? Yes. Hey. Greetings, adventurers. 
I'm your dungeon master, Michael DeMauro, and with me is Mike Bachman. Hey, it's me, Mike Bachman. <laughs> Tim Lanning. Hey, everybody, it's great to be here. Thank you so much for having me. Jennifer Cheek. Hello. <laughs> and Nika Hauer. I just want to get back in the butthole. <laughs> Gotta get back to it. Uh, -bum 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 -bum. Well, you're in luck. <laughs> Let me see that butthole. Okay, everybody. Uh, to the thong oh. song, I get it. Uh, yeah. Baby, let your butthole show. That up, but. Extremely second episode of the night energy. Uh, <laughs> is, it, is it sleepiness? Is it drunk? Who knows? I want, hold on, I want to keep this. I want to keep this going. That but 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 butthole. Come on, that's not everybody. Okay. All right. We're going to oh, get, yeah. get soon. Okay. All How's right. everyone doing? Good. Really good, bud. I like How the idea that Cisco is listening to this podcast. He's like, hey! 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 I never thought to leave a message or a rating or review or anything. Yeah, Cisco, yeah what the fuck, review. man? But it's going to be a one star now. Also, Damn. has it really taken eight years for us to make a thong song reference? That one. seems unlikely, but <laughs> I can see it. It's just because I was thinking about jock jams, and even though like the thong song is not jock jams, it's in the it's in the same vein. I guess. Uh, so yeah, we're a fifth edition actual play oh podcast, uh, but we make it like you know you're playing with just your buddies, mm -hmm. not um, some polished wrapped up. Um, story, but you know the uh, butt pimples and all the wild and wonderful things you can get up to. Yeah, let's uh, let's go around and say what our class, race, and level is because we don't do that. Oh all my the time. god! Uh, I play Toby Treacle Tart, I'm a level eighteen illusion wizard. I'm a gnome. Um, I play Rowan Gray, uh, level eighteen half elf ranger. I play Lonnie. I almost said Lex. That was weird. Whoa. And I play a level 18 monk. I play Scud, and I Oh, think... no. Uh, yeah, Wood Elf. Wood Elf. Wood Elf. Sorry. Wood Elf. Sorry. My bad. <sighs> I'm, I'm sorry, Bachman. I had a joke lined up. I'm going to say it now, but it's not going to be as funny as the first time. I just want everybody <laughs> to know. Th just think about how funny it would have been the first time around. I play Scud, and I'm thankful I'm not the turkey. Oh, we're not doing what we're thankful for. We're doing our characters. Uh, oh, I'm Scud, and I'm. You're, and you're I'm, right. That would have been funny. Eh, <laughs> that's what I choose to believe. I actually think it's funnier now because my brain's not working, as I said before, very well. Uh, or as I said uh, last episode, we record episodes back to back. Yes. So. I'm a necromancer. And, I have skeletons. And Michael, who are you? I am Michael. I play everyone else. <laughs> he plays etc. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I'm going to do that when I'm in Atlanta, Georgia, very Ooh. soon. Big August, same. August 30th. We are all, every single one of us, going to be at Dragon Con. And we're also going to be at a live show on the Friday before or during Dragon Con. Not associated with Dragon Con, mind Just you. Just like, you know, at the same time. like, in Atlanta. Um, so if you're there, come hang out with us, because we yeah. want to meet you, and um, we want to do a and d for you. We want to perform for you on a stage. Yeah, you can go to geeklyinc.com slash dragoncon to get your tickets. VIP gets you an hour of fun extra stuff, a poster, a drink ticket get your seats, meet us, yada, yada, yada. It's a steal, baby. Uh, get your friends to come uh, because it'll be funny. They'll be like, this is so random, isn't it? And then you're like, it is so random. It's funny. I love it. You don't have to be and, caught up or nothing. And then your friends will be like, wait, I like D&D &D now. Mm -hmm. And let's play a game. You and know what? Wow, isn't that a win for everyone? You know what? I will accept your marriage proposal instead of saying <laughs> I have to think about it. Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, so yeah, so we would really super appreciate it if you'd go grab a ticket uh, because we want to keep doing these guys, and yes. we we need your we need your help. Yes. Um, yeah. What else is going on, folks? Anything fun to talk about? Uh, Probably, but I think that's it for now. Yeah, there's lots of fun stuff. You know, you gotta do the dice. Don't it, forget. But you know, besides all the dice, um, loves to forget it. 
We uh, it's fun to not uh, promote GeeklyCon. <laughs> Oh, yeah, for like yeah. a second. Yeah, oh, this is our first episode supposed to GeeklyCon. We well, had last, one. last episode was, yeah. I said episodes, everyone. But, um, the, the, it was so great to meet everyone. Um, mm-hmm. I hope we were able to uh, chat, hug, sign, laugh with. High five. High fist five. Bump. Fist bump with everyone we got to. If not, there's always next year. Yeah. Yeah. We'll be back in we'll Columbus next year. year. I believe it's the 17th through the 21st, something yeah. like that. Whatever that weekend is. I already um, down. Tickets will be on sale. Who knows when? Someday. Someday. Uh, but I hope you get to see you there. Yeah. Um, okay, yes. Uh, Die Hard Dice is a wonderful, beautiful company that makes wonderful, beautiful dice. And they're very supportive of us. And they've given us dice to give our beautiful patrons every week. Uh, all you have to do is be a patron and... Uh, you might get a set of dice as a as a thank you. Yeah, so, it's not, a, it's not a, like a reward. No, 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 no. Um, it's just like a hey, bud, thanks. And um, this week, uh, it the set of dice is going to Cat S from North Dakota. Whoa, hey, Cat. Cat. Yeah. Shh. Yeah, that- Cat S. Oh, very cool. Mark- nice. Um, so, Cat, uh, we will shoot you a message, and you will get a code to go over to dieharddice.com, get yourself a sweet-ass set of dice. Yes. We all use them. We all love them. I love them. They, they really are, like, super nice. Oh, dice. man, I got to touch some of the new ones coming out that I don't think I'm allowed to talk about. Uh, what? And- yeah, because they're doing some special stuff. And Golly Beans, one, it was really cool to see their test die where they color each side a different color to kind of make sure that the mixes are working. Yeah. Uh, so, like, if you get a D10 with each side a different, like, mixture, you get 10 tests. Huh. Uh, and they got some other really cool stuff coming that are so pretty that I, want, I was like, can I steal this? And he he hit me in the head. <laughs> he <laughs> your hand away. Yeah. Yes. Uh, so thank oh, you, uh, and, Dice. Yeah, and we were, like, just eating lunch or eating dinner, and then someone from Level Up Dice came by, and then we chatted with them for a long time. Yeah. Turns out everyone in, uh, everyone except for one company, and they wouldn't tell me who, and they didn't even say this, uh, was, you know, they basically said everyone, they didn't say, they didn't say one company, they just said, I don't want to put words in their mouth, they said pretty much everyone's really nice, uh, is what they said, I don't want to put any words in their mouth. They yeah. said, and so they didn't, like, start a fight with the Level Up Dice people, in fact, they bought dice off of them while sitting there, which is me. Huh. And that's, isn't that nice? Isn't that nice? Yeah. Nice. But they did not talk shit about anyone. Please don't put words in my mouth. <laughs> wow. So Tim says that they uh, talk cool. shit and he hates birds. All right. Um, brain is out the tattoo. I have brain disease. You got brain disease. Um, hey, who wants to roll a d20? I'd hate to roll a d20. Oh! No. Oh, but I got a nat 20. I got a nat 20. Oh, <laughs> I got a 19. <laughs> oh, man, I got a 7. Wait, how does a I nat like 1 we... resolve with a nat 20? Dude, it's happened before, but... I believe the 1 overrules the 20. Okay. I think so. Yeah. I don't remember. Uh, well, Tim, because I'm we like to punish I'm people on right, these podcasts. Bachman, you get to pick, but you can only pick me. <laughs> okay, wait, all right. I want the recap to be done by... Tim. Ah! Oh, ho, ho, ho. Okay, so last week on uh, the Greetings in Podcast, uh, we just got, well, they just got done beating up a, a dragon while Toby was, um, um, you know, uh, indisposed. Uh, so they, they met back up to, with each other, and it turns out Oryx and Sir Roses were chill with the killing of Grongus. So, so Roses <laughs> threw down her key card, and then um, Oryx and Grongus, or uh, uh, Sir Roses, flew away, destroying a piece of the sky, um, breaking a part of the illusion, I assume. Michael, Michael, please don't correct me. Um, uh, showing us in this weird red uh, sky that they kind of crashed through, which caused a huge, very spooky um, alarm to go off, and it scared all of us. Mm-hmm. And then on top of that, the bank that we're trying to break into, the bank building itself, started rising out of the ground as a head 
popped out of it and legs, yada, yada, yada. And it was our goal to try to climb up onto the uh, new huge robot and uh, hopefully find some sort of door. Michael said that the only door that we would ever be able to get to was the butt door. We're like, well, <laughs> that's a little crass, you know. But okay, we'll roll, we'll roll with, with it. it. And after a series of blunders, uh, some great successes, uh, <laughs> we are now inside uh, the lower hatch of this huge multiple multiple story robot uh that you know is just unfathomable think of how big this robot is now double it wow <laughs> um fun little behind the dm screen uh my intent with the butthole was to set it up so that uh, eventually i could poop you all out of the butthole afterwards <sighs> Um, but you know, you all see a butthole, and you can't. <laughs> you can't ride for it. It's, it's not the you first. Be on to that bee hole. Yeah, we, this is we never stopped to think if we should. We only asked if we could. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, you you all were right. Entering through the butthole was the right way to go. It so. is funny that like, you kind of like caught yourself. It was like, oh no, and then like it's fuck. <laughs> only things come out of it. I'm like, what the fuck does my, that mean? My foolish players <laughs> love the butthole so much. <laughs> You could have given us another access point, like, on the thigh. And then we'd be like, oh, man. Oh, you would have still gone for the butthole. I, yeah, I, I, that, I can confirm that. I would have been for butt. <laughs> like, all right, you guys go there. I'm going to go in the butt. Are we all covered in robo goo right now? I think Scud's not. Everybody Maybe. but Scud. No, Scud tried, Wait. and he got he got covered when I tried to leap to the butthole. Oh, okay, gotcha. That's it. Damn. Okay, sure. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure Scud's shitty. He's <laughs> not shit. It's like oil. Well, it's like oil, and it's, uh, but that's what was in the pimples. There has it has to uh, be different. Okay, it's I like a uh, oil. It's a. Uh, it's like an oily shit. It's oily shit. I hate. This. But it's a robot that doesn't. Eat. I think we can all agree it's a gunk. It's some it's sort of a, gunk. Is it Mike Bogman? You 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 don't know what this is. Is it like a meconium? No, is that how you say it? Oh no! I don't know what like that is. Like baby's first to... baby's first shit. Oh yeah 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 that shit yeah it's just like black and like oh. mm -hmm. viscous. This is horrible. Sort of slimy. Yeah. I am uh, ignoring this and pretending like it's not happening. Yeah, stop it. <laughs> uh, you know, weirdly enough, it's <laughs> doesn't it's, smell that. It's yeah, it's better than the stuff that comes later. You need it. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> uh, fun times. I regret that I had to resign from the podcast. <laughs> this is probably the straw that broke. You gotta, you gotta recuse yourself. <laughs> you know, if things don't go perfectly, sometimes they do that in inside of Mama. I, it is bad for them. Uh -huh. Guys. Anyway. <laughs> hmm. Um. Yeah. So you are. Uh, well, setting the scene, uh, you're still raising up out of the ground because this robot has not finished standing up yet. It's very big and slow. Um, but uh, we we see the four of you standing in front of this big aperture um, covered in shit, I guess. And uh, and you're just you know looking out the butthole, and uh, you see a big red dragon flying towards you. Bowl. Get inside, get inside. <laughs> we gotta close it. Can I reverse hack the door? Yes. Oh, Use your know. history. Use my history. I got a nat 20. <laughs> so 31. <laughs> Damn. I feel like we've had a real, like, a bunch of, like, 20s and 1s yeah. in this chunk of episode. Yeah. Um, yeah, you uh, <laughs> hit the console on the other side of the butthole because what the hell are we doing? And, uh, it uh, it apertures close just as the dragon is is bearing down on you, and um, it like it goes to do a its breath weapon on you, and um, it breathes fire just as the last just as it closes, <laughs> and uh, you can feel the heat like coming off of of the butthole like door, singed. and it's like Our starting eyeball. to. It's like starting to turn kind of red. Uh oh, and like starting to glow. No. We gotta get out of here. Does the robot go? Yeah. <laughs> the robots all like, "Ooh, spicy." My booty. <laughs> I should not have had the chili. No. 
<laughs> that that last uh, 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 spicy gordita was too much. <laughs> uh, so what are you doing? There, you got a guess the hallway. So we have a colon to go through. I hate this. <laughs> it's not a real person, you know. Yeah, it's probably just like a four. Well, it's um, also probably a, a shoot because it had gunk come out of it. So we. Uh, just to clarify again, this is the bank. It is the bank, yes. It's the bank, okay. So we need to find the accounting department because we have to get the card from Lord Gorgos. Yes. Whose name I like, my brain refuses to remember his <laughs> name for some reason. There's a lot of G's running around. Yeah, I think you and... want to say Grinky Grongus, and that's not correct. Lord Grinky Grongus. Mm hmm. Um. Is there, uh, is is there a map anywhere? <laughs> if this is like an office building, like a bank, sometimes it'll be like on this floor is this. That's true, room. like a, a fire escape. That's how my freaking office is. <laughs> yeah, bitch. Where's the where's the fire <laughs> um, map? Uh, you don't have a map on you. Ugh. Okay. And there's no map on the wall. There's not a map on the wall. All right, well, let's where's keep the, going. Uh, the Wait. Office office manager mm -hmm. <laughs> how big is this area it is um i, I think it's a uh, it's like a circular tunnel it's about i would say eight feet by eight feet how long do we know oh and how long yeah um it sort of uh it goes in probably like 50 feet and then and then um turns that point up okay goes up so uh, we're in a tunnel. Okay, so we should probably just move forward. In yeah, it seems like we should I move we forward in the tunnel. Are we just live here forever? <laughs> instead of the robot? Do you know how long robot intestines can be? Oh, Damn, God. we're gonna find out because <laughs> we gotta go through it. Roll a history would, check. Oh God. Would, <laughs> you history guys check. want me to scout out what is ahead? Yes. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. I do yeah. know that we just keep pushing Lonnie in front like yeah. all the time now. Uh, I, I p take out a bird out of my, my robe and like, here, Arlington will go with you. Oh, God. Um, I put him in a pocket. Oh. Oh. Um, that is very close to my heart, so he's very safe. Yeah. Um, he's and... He's moral support from Arlington. <laughs> I would like to use key points and go invisible and then use, f like, just a full round. So just six seconds and just run as far as I can and back. So 240 feet and back. Damn. Okay, um, you are able to uh, explore a, a fair bit of this tunnel system, um, but you're not, you're not getting out of this tunnel system with 240 feet. Sure. Shit. I just kind of want to see what's ahead of us. If there's any enemies, um, definitely be on the lookout for any, like, uh, anything that could look like a threat or anything that could look like it would potentially like stand out very much. I feel like it would have to be very obviously helpful for Lonnie to pick up on it. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, you don't, I will roll perception for me. Okay. I rolled a 12 plus 11, so a 23. Okay, right, so you roll. don't, you don't see any um, enemies or any like living things or whatever. Um, you do see, a series of hatches, which are all uh, very wet, and you're assuming that when they open up again, uh, the tunnel will be flooded with more of uh -oh. the bad stuff. Okay. Um, I would use then the other half of my movement to run back to them um, and communicate that with the group of what is ahead. She does that. Okay. <laughs> I think we got to get moving fast. Yeah, we got to go. Y'all, it looks like we might get up to our knees and shit, too. Again. Ugh. Well, you I better keep least... your mouth closed. Talk through your teeth. <laughs> what? <laughs> you don't want to get shit in your mouth. <laughs> oh, I guess that makes sense. Uh, well, well, I actually... wouldn't say shit if my mouth was full of it. <laughs> uh, I, I can talk to all of you, but you can't talk to each other, because I have sending or message so or whatever. you can just be talking shit. <laughs> oh, but 
you could tell each of us what the other said, and we could right. just play like telephone, basically. Exactly. We're not currently in shit. But we gotta be careful. <laughs> but what if it starts coming out again? Yeah. My God, I feel like you're not concerned about the shit, and I don't understand why. <laughs> We're all very stressed about it now. All right, let's go forward until yeah, we'll you know. It. Let's find a door. Let's find a something. Um. All right. Everybody, roll me an investigation. Oh shit! Uh-oh. I can do that. Oh, not me. You already know <laughs> I could do that. Fifteen. Oh, I rolled seventeen. Wow. Sixteen. Uh, sorry. Oh, I rolled a five. <laughs> Woo! So plus um, the minus one, so four. <laughs> oh you, no! <laughs> you uh, you get to the end of this tunnel and you don't see anywhere to go. Um, seems like a bit of a dead end. What? And um, then where the shit come from, Michael? <laughs> uh, the hatches. Oh, so we're gonna have to go for hatch. And you hear um, you hear like a like a ticking, like a clock. Oh my God. Like uh, like it's almost shit time again. You know, no, that's all. Michael. <laughs> what is happening to us? Don't throw your, don't literally spray your kinks on us. <laughs> uh, all right. So, is there? Sorry, is there multiple hatches? What's the story here? There are multiple. There's a series of hatches. So we each take one and meet up on the other <laughs> side. Can we? Okay. Uh, is there one that has like more gunk next to it, like more fresh gunk? Like maybe that's the the the, one, the most recent the one. The most recent gunk. Um, uh, you could roll something else for that. You could roll another investigation. I what about nature to like detect like poop droppings? Or perception. Uh, what about perception nature? Or... Like you know, because how you're in nature and you try to think like where poop is, you know? <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. Sure. Talked, but I'm gonna roll again. Yeah. Yeah. Ah! Take my First. party up the old butt again. road. Uh, you can't really tell. Okay. Does anyone else wanna? Uh, sure. So, can I do a perception roll? Yeah. <gasps> my oh roll my god! Uh, um, I got an eleven. <laughs> I rolled a two. <laughs> Um, you are more clueless than Toby. Well, Michael, oh, Michael. I rolled a three plus two. Wow. So. What is wrong with us? Might I try, please? Yeah. I rolled a 17 plus 11. Nice. Nice. There's a big flashing neon sign that says, here's how you get out of the butt. And we're all like, what? You're the only hole that's not filled with poop. In fact, it's filled with beautiful Cool, crisp water. Mm. Um, you find you can you are able to tell that uh, the middle hatch was was the one that just evacuated. Damn. Um, so theoretically, that's the one. It should be uh, clear. All right, all right, y'all. It's gonna be this middle one here. It's the one that just took a giant shit. You can tell by the streak marks. They are oh. still clingy, yet they are dripping. If you can see that. Um, it also has a fresh scent right here that is indicative of an explosion. So I you think were... this is going to be our best bet. Uh, oh, I, I told totally, nice job, Lonnie. I totally missed that. I feel I feel like a real dang idiot. Maybe I think I got this good eyes. You know, it. it was Don't right worry in front about of me. Toby. My uncle was a plumber, and he took care of half of Arkansas whenever we finally stopped shitting in the bushes. So <laughs> he invented plumbing. Oh my god! What? But like plumbing. plumbing, plumbing exists in other places, but like he like invented yeah. it in Arkansas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, it's parallel cool. thought. I think it's that phenomenon, right? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I was talking about parallel thought yesterday. It's so crazy. Calculus <gasps> at the same time. What the fuck? Uh, airplane. What about like you know? I don't believe in anything. At the end of the, all of the road, it's nothingness. But like. You know, I'm not an atheist. I'm an agnostic. So, like, what if there well, where is, is this conversation? Going? <laughs> you know, what if there is a great technological entity? Out there? Welcome to the oh, second yeah. episode. When your like high friend starts getting too real at the party, <laughs> oh, yeah. I feel like to start talking about aliens. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave it now. <laughs> He's opening the window. 
he's gonna buy. <laughs> <laughs> Look, the fact is, is that it's much more plausible that we're all in a simulation than we're actually in real life. Okay, that's so, so true. that's true. This it's simulation true. sucks true. ass. <laughs> that being said, they gotta said, start this one over again. You know, if it's a simulation, why are we so goddamn horrible to each other? Simulation. Um, Anyways, right. let's, cool. let's go up the hole. So there's a, there is a, well, you gotta open the hatch first. I open the hatch. It's not, it doesn't just open. Oh, what do oh. I do, Michael? Oh, is that another skill challenge? No, I'm no, gonna blast, blast it. Blast it. <laughs> you can blast it. I blast it with firebolt. Too good to blast ass, the old man. <laughs> Really um, you know, Michael, bad idea to cast fires magics in a butthole. <laughs> in a butthole. <laughs> um, it, there's a, it's it's still it's a robot's butthole. So mm. well, I guess this could be like oil. It's, it's, it's sterile. <laughs> oh, okay. um, it's not like full of actual methane or anything Where, like that. Yeah, I'm just blasting it. All right, hold on. Let me roll a d20. Some attention's paid to your butt's hole. <laughs> uh, you blast that hatch. Yeah! Blast that hatch! <laughs> Stop! I open the window. Four, eight, fifteen, sixteen, twenty-three. Wait, I, I think I forgot. Four, eight, sixteen, twenty. That you forgot? I forgot. Four, eight, fifteen, sixteen, twenty-three, forty-two. Yeah. Um, there is a hatch that goes straight up. Oh Go. shit! Let's do it. Uh, I wish one of us was had high strength score because I would just cast high strength. Yeah, yeah, none of us. I We're all cast, little weaklings. Yeah, levitate. Uh, how about we cast levitate on Scud, and then we just fly up on his bone ladder. Oh, yeah, I like. I did. I brought. I did bring the bone ladder. I said that. He's... And we're all, oh my god, and we're all like, the ladder's going straight up in there, and we're like, each on a run, just like. <laughs> yeah. I can carry 500 pounds, so maybe I cast it on the bone ladder. Mm. <laughs> the dogs! The dogs are causing no, Michael, mischief. Michael, just incorporate it. As you go up, there's a squeaky. There's a squeaky sound. There's a squeak. Say there's a squeaky. Um, you did not say you brought the bone ladder with you, you liar. <laughs> were you just checking the tapes? Like, what? Yeah. I was rewinding. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah I but I mean, okay. I mean, I love you. Okay, new skill challenge to go back outside and get the bone ladder. <laughs> the dragon didn't break it. I'm just kidding. You, you're, you're gonna have a bone ladder. I don't care. Whatever. Yeah. You pull it up. <laughs> you're like anything to get you fucking moving. Um, All right. So we're up 500 pounds, 20 feet per second, which is okay. Fast. You uh, you float up the hatch. And you come out at the top, and you appear to be in uh, an office of some kind. Perfect. Okay, what kinds of office paraphernalia are here? Are there... Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Bro! <laughs> <laughs> We're podcasting in here! <laughs> um, are there calculators? Are there numbers? Are there... Hang in there. Yeah, is there a hang in there poster? Um, I mean, we've been in part of the bank before. You yeah, have. we do. We walk by the accounting area. So do we, like, do we kind of know where we are now? Instead of an is? annex, is there an appendix? Oh, my. <laughs> nice. Uh, you appear to be in a, a barracks of sort, although it is empty. Okay, I'm sorry, real quick. That concept of, like, hey, you work at the bank and you fucking live in the bank. Sucks so, so bad. <laughs> Well, this this seems to be like a guard barracks. Oh. Um I work in a place like this. There's a barracks? Kinda. There's a shooting range. What? Rate. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, that's weird. Um, well that's crazy. Uh so okay, I guess Hmm. We're in the barracks. Are, is there anyone around? Oh, is there uh uh hey everyone, look around for some uniforms. It's a classic uniform. Okay. Uh, I rolled it. Uh, that's a that's a twenty, Michael. Total. Do I see a uniform? There, uh, it's. I mean, yeah. There's a there's a bunch of Foot Lockers. And, oh, uh, so we're in a mall. 
<laughs> and you find a I'm nice pair of kicks. Is, this a, is it a Foot Locker or is it a Lady Foot Locker? <laughs> <laughs> a a Foot Locker too. That's for all the limited Heat two locker. fans out there. <laughs> it's spelled T O O. Yeah, um, there are uh, there are a ser- there are a set of uniforms you can put them on. Oh, we got to. It. We do it. Oh, we do it. So we just like, strip down. I think. Like I feel oh, like yeah. personally. We, oh, there's showers here, right? It's, yeah. Oh, can we do a little like military shower like side by side? <laughs> Long yes. rest. Long rest. Long shit. rest. I have 28 <laughs> hit points. We can't do it. Take a long rest. We're we, a can short take, rest. Uh, we can take a pretty long rest. It would take a long, re- a short rest in this bunker. It's probably not safe. How long is a short rest again? An hour. An hour. Isn't it ten minutes though? No. <laughs> it used to be ten minutes. It is now an hour. Can't you like home, like home rule it? <laughs> you can. But I like it when you guys suffer. <laughs> ah, okay. I think we should just quickly shower and move on. Yeah, that's quickly. Although I am on. very concerned about Scud's twenty-eight hit points. I, can he heal? I we, can you guys heal him? I know you have I like can, four healing potions or well, something. Well, but also, don't you? We have our daily thing. Oh, that takes a short rest, right? Fuck. Yeah. I'm I'm real low on spell slots. <laughs> um, I. You guys shouldn't have fought that dragon. Yeah, we might have fucked up. I no, I can I can do cure wounds on you, Scud. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, mm-hmm. I agree. <laughs> so you do it. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna cast it kind of higher. I'm gonna cast it at a third, at third level. So you get three d eight plus three hit points. Just not that many hit points, but that's listen. That's the best I can do. If uh, if you all roll a roll a perception for me. Oh God. I only got nineteen off of that. So thanks. Seven. 19. Oh my fucking god. Um, we should start taking 14. the help action more often. Instead of all yeah. of us rolling, That's two true. of us should That's take true. the help action. Yeah, but I got 21. I guess statistically, though. Um, so, this seems to be, uh, you seem to be in what looks like, not abandoned, but it looks like an unused sort of barracks. It looks like it's it has not been used in a long time. Like there's, It looks like it's ready to go. But um, but it appears to be for um, humanoids and not robots and not robots. Um, Can you imagine if robots had barracks and they're like, "I am going to sleep." Goodbye. <laughs> Here's a picture. I'm a shower. Ones and zeros. <laughs> sleep mode. Engaged. This is my mom. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you there. It, there's a good chance that you could take a short rest or there is a chance that you could take a short rest without <gasps> anyone kind of stumbling yeah, in on you. Yeah, let's fucking do it. Let's this do it, this is classic dungeon shit. We're in a dungeon. We got we got to conserve. Yeah, our 90% strengths. of the game as it was like initially designed was designed to take a short and even long rest in something That's we true. never take short or we long really rest don't. We, in dangerous areas. Yeah, we actually don't. Okay, yeah. all right, short The game rest, is like designed it. for you to figure that out. So well, I take my other immovable rod, I go to the door, and I set it there, Michael, the the do- the exit to the barracks. Okay. And uh, I, I that, yeah, and, yeah, that's what I do. Oh, and God, I, I got to remember how hit dice work. Uh, yeah, I super don't remember how to do that. You just roll. You, yeah, you just roll whatever your hit points are. Your hit dice. You you have like eighteen hit dice or something. Yeah. So like every so level. One to ten. Oh, so I can choose to do like all of them? Yeah. You can just keep doing them until you get are to happy. a beating them out. Okay. Yeah. All right. Because it's like you you are adventurers, so you know how to heal yourself. Yeah, that makes so sense. So you're or not heal yourself, but you know how to like you know make it better or or, or know how to patch it up. Maybe it's not healed but you're an extreme individual where do you see your hit dice again right by your hit points uh if yeah if you click and D beyond yeah um if you click short rest it will be there yeah it's, oh yeah. right okay yeah yeah so for me it's 1d6 plus 2 and i have a total of 18 so yeah, we should be using these jokers way more. So yeah, so if it's one d ten plus three, is that like for each roll? Yes. Mm-hmm. So I get to add three each time. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So it's one d ten plus three. So I'm gonna do 
four. Nice so what happens? Oh, I get I've got cleric hit dice also that are better. <laughs> That's cool. Those are one d eight plus three. Uh, as you guys are like cleaning yourself off, and it's not really coming off. Toby just kind of spins in a magical girl style, and all of hit, the gunk is gone from him. What? How? Press the digitation, baby. Happen? Can wow. you presidentialize me? <laughs> uh, oh, sorry, Lonnie. I, I, I thought you liked being covered in poop. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's been a long day. Ah, um, oh, hell, Toby. You know I'm joking. Uh, okay. I love poop. No, I'm going to clean you. Oh, God, no. Please. And the rest <laughs> of the 50 out. minutes is me chasing <laughs> Um, trying to clean. Scud but, has yeah. press digitation also, and he'll see you do that, and he'll kind of try and like spin a little bit, and like maybe a little bit of the poop comes off, <laughs> but it's all still there, and he's like, and he's kind of like, he's like, Toby, I, I don't know how to do it. Can you help me? <laughs> Can you help me? Yeah, come here. And I, I take out your uh, wizard book, and I help you, I run lines with you, uh, <laughs> you know, and like, yeah. press digitation. Now say it! <laughs> Press the digit, and then I slap your hand as far as I fucking can. <laughs> what am I saying? This is serious business. You could rend the, the reality asunder. Sorry. It hurt me, but I deserve it. Now, okay. Press the digitation. I'm doing math now. Math. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it! Stop it! You have to go back. <laughs> all the time. Okay, all right. I'm back up to 152 hit points. Boys. How many did you use? I used six of my hit dice. I'm gonna use a lot. Michael, something that I do sometimes, and this is not me. This is literally, you know, we're we're buddies, right? We hang mm -hmm. out, we shoot the shit, we drink beers. Um, sometimes I'll have instead of losing HPs for a thing, losing hit dice for a thing. Like, mm. oh no, you know. But also, That's I too never make my players use their hit dice, so. Ooh. You know, it doesn't happen that often. Yeah, it's... The I, format I just... of our show makes it un yeah. unwieldy. How, when do you get your hit dice back? After you rest, do a long rest. I think uh, you get like half of them back. Yeah, I think you can get up to half of them back or something. Something like that. Okay, I'm about to, I'm about to fuck this up. <laughs> Cause you, I mean, you're pretty weak right now, so I think you need to heal yourself. I'm gonna use a lot. I'm just uh, saying. Oh damn. Okay. <laughs> Nxs973 in chat said, "Eat some berries. One HP per berry." Yeah, baby. <laughs> like I'm gonna eat 100 berries. We're just gonna Skyrim this and just eat all the cabbages we have in our inventory. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at 126 now. Noise. Nice. But I don't have any hit dice left. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, I, well, I figure we've we've gone this long, like, forgetting to use them, that yeah. probably by the next time I remember to use it, I'll have them back again. So sure. Really. You got, you got to. Because I'll, later, when you're, like, dead, you're not going to be like, man, I wish I hadn't used some new hit yeah. dice. Uh, Michael, can you take your headphones off real quick? No. <laughs> wow! <Well, laughs> he's not used to that. I was kidding. No. Um, and I do, as you guys are resting, I would like you to uh, roll a perception. Okay. Well, oh, my perception ain't shit now. I got a three. I need it in a different way. Oh, I got a ten total. That's not bad. Um, I got a twenty-two. Melanie got a twenty-eight, though. Yes. Okay. Um, so uh, about halfway through your rest you do hear uh, clomping feet um, and a, uh, a robot guard is doing a round. Uh oh. And uh, you... But Lonnie, Lonnie picks up on it before he gets too close. And um, I, I'm going to need you all to make a stealth roll, but you do get an advantage. <gasps> oh, shit. So I use my inspiration. <laughs> <gasps> yes, I rolled an at 20. Whoa. 31, oh Michael. Nice. All I right. I got a 17, Michael. <laughs> I'm so I got an at 20 also! What Holy shit. <laughs> I'm still what did Toby get? 
Uh, 17. Nice. How about Scudzers? I got a 17 also, and I'm so glad I used Inspiration before I did that. Did you really like, use Inspiration? Yeah, I said I used Inspiration before I heard I rolled. you say it. I thought it was a yeah. joke. No, I did two, I did three, and then I did 17. Nice. <laughs> Wowie. I don't think you use it. It's fine. What? Let's not talk about it. Um, <laughs> so you all uh, hunch down and... and uh, there's a, you know, there's still steam in the mirror from when you all took your showers, but um, but he doesn't pop, pop pop his head in or anything. He just walks by the barracks, and uh, you appear to be in the clear. Does he come? Does he encounter the immovable rod? <laughs> no, he doesn't go in the door. Okay, okay, okay. So we've done our our rest. Done, We're done all, your rest. We've powered up. Up. And now I think it's time to move on. Time to move right? on. I like it here. I put, I put my hand gingerly against the wall. Like, this could have been our home. We could have went inside of this robot. <laughs> uh, and we're going to wear, we got outfits. We're wearing the new outfits. We're uh -huh. nice and clean. We don't mm -hmm. smell like shit. Well, Oils. the robot shit. Yeah. Um, is there a broom, Michael? Can I pick up a broom? Yep. Oh, shit. What do you do with that? What do you do with that? Fly on it? <laughs> no. If we get caught, I'll be like, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I have to go. Got to go broom it up. Uh, is the so I'll take... grab like plungers and yeah. like uh, hand yeah. kerchiefs. Yeah. Now you are wearing security. Oh, okay. I'm going to put the broom down. <laughs> I'm going to put my hand on the broom. And think, yeah, I'm pulling double duty. <laughs> in another world? Me and his broom could have been friends. <laughs> Hank was sick. I'm a jack all trades. What can I say? <laughs> Are there like weapons? Uh, yeah, there's some some older weapons. They're a little dusty, but sure. I press to digitize all of them. Are any of them guns? <laughs> just None for... of them were guns. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what actually just happened? I'm getting this mixed up with a different game we're playing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I won't say what. I want to pick up. There's a mach machine gun. <laughs> For, uh, it says hogs on it. Yeah. <laughs> it says in case of hogs break glass. <laughs> uh, that would be nuts. Uh, it's in a glass break. case and it's just break in case of thirty to fifty. Yeah. Uh, feral I hogs. think that I think that's gonna age well. <laughs> yeah, I think I think, I think everyone's gonna get that. Uh, uh, what weapon is everyone picking up? I think I'm gonna pick up. A um, what is it? A guitar thing that you hold in your hand. A guitar. Guitar. <laughs> guitar. K -A -R, I believe. I was gonna sing at them. <laughs> I didn't say guitar, everyone. I know, but it everyone. Was funny to me. I'm Tim sick. wants his axe, i.e., his guitar. <laughs> um, I get it. I mean, we still have our our regular weapons with yeah, us. Yeah, you've got your good weapons. I don't have any. Oh, okay. Well, I don't. I don't need any of these. My weapons are good. I Anything. pick up Tomfas. Can I pick up a slingshot? Guitar. Oh, I see. But like the Tomfa, I... the Tomfas from. Never mind. It's okay. <laughs> I almost made another reference, and I, you're all gonna make fun of me. Was it Killer Instinct? I know that one. <laughs> no, it was the. It was. It was a Power Rangers movie. Oh, you fucking nerd! The Tapas, and she's and they make they go woo 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 and scares all the bird people away in case we run into bird people. Okay, that's smart. That's a good point. That's a great point. You make a great point. Um, there is not a slingshot here because uh, this is these are real cards. <laughs> you take that everyone in real life. That's you just slingshot. Uh, trying to go. I pick up nothing because I already have my own weapons. Cool. I I got a confession. I said bird people because I didn't want y'all to think that I knew what they were called right away. But they're tango warriors. <laughs> 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 Is there anything else you need to get off your chest? <laughs> no, I'm a cop. Things. Oh my god. That being said, I'm gonna friggin' swirly you. August <laughs> thirtieth. <laughs> we get to Atlanta. <laughs> Swirlies all around. Episode three twenty five. I think I'm closer to getting that beloved swirly from Tim. <laughs> Finally figured out how to do it. <laughs> uh, okay. So, uh, what are you doing? 
we leave the door, right? And then we continue on. Yeah, it's time to keep moving. You get roll perception before you leave the door. Was there a map in the guard area? You didn't say you picked up the rod, so you fucking walk into the door, idiot. <laughs> yeah, you get a black eye from walking into the oh, door. Quick. Seven again. I got a 20. I got a 22. I got Not 16. Naturally. The coast seems to be clear. Perfect. Coast is clear. <laughs> this is <rough. laughs> That was a good again. No, that was a monkey talkie. <laughs> I cock my guitar and cut my left hand off. Like, no! (laughs) You're an idiot. All right. All right, guys, let's go. All right, let's go. Let's go. Okay, you head down the hall. um, You go around a corner, and you now recognize where you are. Okay. Which means you know where the accounting office is from here. Let's go! I can smell the numbers. (laughs) Smell like- <laughs> it smells like 12. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's the, we know that we know exactly where the office is though, right? Yeah. Yeah. And I, I, and again, we've not other than the robot guards, we have not seen anybody. Hmm. We go through seem, the air vent. It does seem very empty. It seems like a trap. Is there it an is like, Michael? Or I will, just shit before the robot came out of the ground. I should say also that, like, every once in a while you kind of rock back and forth as this thing okay. apparently is, like, walking around. Oh, cool. Okay. Well, most people started, like, when this thing started coming out of the ground, most employees were at the party, right? So this thing should be yeah. mostly empty. I guess mm-hmm. that's, yeah, that's true, yeah. actually. Okay. And who would be crazy enough to go inside of it? <laughs> How would you even access it? Through the butthole? Well, you have to go through the butt. <laughs> if oh. it were me. And it were me. Like a Star War. Mm-hmm. Oh, right. Yeah, it's like it's like the Death Star's like, weak spot. Yeah. But it's the butthole. You're all yeah. clear, kid. Now let's blow this thing and go home. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, let's sneak up to the door. That's it. Okay. Um, are you all sneaking to the office? or? Yep. Yeah. How do you get together? Is there like is is the door open? Like what's the how roll, thick is the door? Roll stealth before you get there. Yeah. What's a seven do for me? God damn it. I didn't mean to roll that. Fourteen. Five. <laughs> it fell out of my hand, Michael. I didn't get to properly cock it. Um so you do uh <laughs> you step into a bucket. Laughing! <laughs> And then you crash into Scud. Um, and uh, and you all duck behind uh, a counter as another robot guard comes through and looks around. And then keeps walking. Could swear I heard a bucket in here. <laughs> I don't know what love is. <laughs> and it goes, hmm. I heard something, but... It must be nothing. And then it walks on. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, so let's, once the robot moves on and the coast is clear, let's keep, let's keep, keep going, going forward. Yep. Let's keep forward. Okay, you get into the accounting department. You go through the um, QA department, which is all torture devices, mm. and you get to the accounting uh-huh. department. And uh, there is a bunch of cubicles. They're all empty. Um, And there is an office at the back. And the light appears to be on in the office. Oh, okay. Is the door open? The door is closed. Okay. How high are the ceilings? Uh, Probably like 20 feet. How thick is the door? You don't know, but it looks like a normal door. Is there a gap under the door? Yes. How big of a gap? Bone width, one, one inch. <laughs> okay, First. that's uh, as everybody knows. One inch is about the width, maximum width of a human bone. Um, mm-hmm. Michael, can I slide my bones under there, like one, <laughs> one at a time, so that they reform on the other side and they sneak around? Uh, as he's doing that, I just put, the, put my step my step my foot on one of the bones. He's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> Where I. 
And then just point at Lonnie. And then I, okay, so actually, let's whisper a plan to each other because we can do that. So what if we do something, make a noise so that he comes out, but Rowan's standing right there and gets him. Perfect. Do you want my bones to do that? I've already got three or four in there. <laughs> or actually, Rowan probably shouldn't be right there. Probably should be Lonnie right by the door because she can punch. And then Rowan does the I, arrow. I could go invisible and go through the door and see what's there and then come back again. That is also... A... And maybe just open the door, too. Actually, no, it's oh. in there. Oh, you know no, what? No, you go invisible, make sure that... Because what if it's, if it's locked here, you know, you oh, open sure. the door, we bust in. Now that yeah. I've had time to think about it, I wouldn't have been able to fit the skull under the door, and it wouldn't have been able to see anything that was in there. Uh, uh, you're the right. Point? You're right. It's okay. <laughs> we all learned. I mean, I was with you on the whole bone fact. And we were like touring together. You know, you know? there's no bad idea. Oh, my yeah. God. Okay. Big Oz Country in the chat says, a skeleton key? Ah! No. Yeah. I, I don't Damn. think we ever said the door was locked. Just that we know somebody's <laughs> we in there. The door. We, we have, have not checked, checked the, door. the door. Okay. Lonnie, okay. Again, please go in and be our meat share. I, <laughs> will, I will go invisible, and then I will try the door. If the door is locked, then I would like to phase through the door, Michael. The door is locked. Nah. Okay. Then skeleton like key! To, <laughs> That's a new joke I just thought of. <laughs> now like you to do to need to get a through. running start. Okay. Um, and I would normally give you disadvantage on a stealth roll. Okay. But since you're invisible, I think it'll be a wash. Okay. That's fair. Just one roll. Let's make a stealth roll. I rolled a 6 plus 11, a 17. Okay, so you oh, so bad. you uh, run through the door, you phase <laughs> through, and straight into the desk. You um, you get inside and uh, you do nudge a um, a pitcher of water <laughs> that uh, slides and then mm. falls off of. Can I make a dex check to try to catch it? Yes, sure. <laughs> Thank you, Michael. <laughs> oh, I rolled a four! I got a fifteen! Oh, fuck! <laughs> right. Michael, does it teeter? No, does it teeter? You get, a, you get a finger on it, and it, like, flips up, and it goes even further, and it <laughs> smashes on the ground in a big pool of, of water, and, uh, and there's a uh, man behind the desk, and uh, he, his head pops up, and he looks around... And um, he doesn't see you. To be fair, pitcher of water, move large moving robot, around? stomping exactly. around. Yeah, um, oh, that's true. He was careless, careless for leaving a pitcher of water out on the open. And I yeah. would like to move my feet around so that there's not a dry spot where my feet are. Oh, shit, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Stepping into the other waters, going splishy, 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 splishy. <laughs> oh, I can't. Who knows? Who knows? He should be able to. I I like when we go way out of our way to prevent Michael from doing something he clearly was never gonna do. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. But just in case. I'm annoying. I mean, oh, also, what does this gentleman look like? Yeah. Um, he looks like a uh, taller. Uh, Frank with a, a bushier sort of so he's bald like Frank is okay. but the the side hairs are bushier Ooh, okay. and um, he's sort of like a he's like an idealized um, Frank okay. Okay. Uh, he's like taller uh, his, uh, his his collar is crisper Wow, um, he drinks accountant Sona. He lets you yeah. do cooler things financially because he's budgeted for it. Oh, wow. um, exactly. <laughs> man, the uh, the the synchronization you guys all had right there was beautiful. <laughs> um, he stands up, uh -oh. and uh, and he goes, "Is is someone there?" <laughs> it's Frank's uh. brother Dank. <laughs> 
And he is going to roll a perception. Okay. Do I need to roll a deception or does my invisibility? <laughs> deception would be like, you can't see me. I'm not here. <laughs> uh, I think you, I think you have to, you're going to do an opposed stealth roll. Oh, okay. Do I get a bonus? Cause I'm invisible. Well, do I get advantage? That it no, I'm going to say no on this one. Because then I would have disadvantage because he knows that something's going up. I'll work. I'll reason through this with you. <laughs> okay, I rolled a 14. Uh, I fucked up by telling you first. <laughs> uh, 14 total? No, it's a 14 plus. 11. Okay. 25. Oh, okay, right. good. Um, he looks around. He scratches his head. And uh, he goes, hmm. Must must have must have just must have just shifted with the uh, with all the movement. Um, roll perception for me. Wait, he says I'm that. Sorry, David, my chair yeah. squeaky. If you're out there, roll perception. I rolled a four <laughs> plus eleven, so a fifteen, which I don't um, feel is great. You oh. Plus 11, 15. Okay, so yeah, you, yeah, you notice he's got his key card in his belt. <laughs> he knows okay. nobody's there, but now he's start, he's lonely, so he's starting to, like, wish somebody was, and he's talking to him. <laughs> I wish I had to talk about accounting with. No, no, Garros, no one was ever visits you. Don't be stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I to make friends with Lord Gargos. <laughs> No, and I have to have a running start to get back through the door. Just unlock it and open it. That is true. Like fucking get a running start, then unlock there. it. Or take it out of his his belt and then slip it under. That's what I was thinking. I was trying to Perfect. take it. Um, can I try to sneak towards him, like very quietly, carefully taking my time? Mm-hmm. As you get close to him, one of the bones that I stuck under it just kind of rolls up against your phone, uh, against your foot, and you look down <laughs> at it, and it kind of like stands up on end and like motions like you 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 want to hit me over, <laughs> hit him over the head with me, you know, like. Oh my god! It just craves um, to, to how many, make contact with flesh. Yeah. How many jars of water does she have to dodge? Uh, like seven. But I, you don't need to make another stealth roll. Oh, or... oh, okay. I did. Or okay. water. Um, so are you, you kind of creep up on him. He's back to doing his paperwork. I would like to, I would like to do what I like to call the crazy hand. And the whole time I'm sneaking, I want to have one hand just off to the side, just shaking, doing a, a strong jazz hand. So if he catches it out of the corner of his eye, he's going to look at it. And then I'm going to know that he knows that I'm here. And that's, that's when you hit him over the head with the bone. And that's whenever, yeah, the bone's going to come to play. Yeah. Um, roll perception. Oh, shit. Not that Lonnie's hands are more powerful than any single bone, but, you know, it's... it's. <laughs> yeah, it's to say. They've been blessed by gods, but I should probably take an insurance policy out on them. You uh, <laughs> you're like, you're like much Thank less you. powerful if you hit with the bone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, what was the roll? Uh, 11 plus 11 and 22. Ah, uh, he doesn't seem to notice your crazy hand. Okay. <laughs> okay, I continue creeping up on him. All right, uh, are you going to grab the key card? I think I'm going to if if the time is appropriate. So if he's shifting in his seat or if he's doing something where it could reasonably, like, get caught on you something. You seem to have a around. clear shot at it. <sighs> if I've got a clear shot, oh, fuck, God. Well, she's not in there. there. I hope she's not dead. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. If I've got a clear shot and I think I can make it happen, I'm going to do it. Okay. Roll I'd like, sleight of hand. I would like... Oh, wait. I would like to use um, my inspiration on this. There you go. Okay. Boom. Bing, bingo. So I, that, I think that means everyone but Toby has used their inspiration. Mm. Okay. I get more. Two. We're going to try this again. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. This is the first episode where we've used inspiration correctly. It was 16. So, 21. 21? Yeah. Um, yeah, you uh, you oh, snagged yes. that key card. Yes. It is in your hand. Does it become invisible once it's in my hand, or is it floating around? <laughs> I guess it would become invisible, right? 
Thank you. Okay, the I would like. Looks real sad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Um, okay, I want. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know if I'm trying to like push the boundaries of what I can do, but I think I'd like to try to run out, or should I just try to unlock the door? If you have space to run out, I feel like, like you running should. Out. Yeah, because you would know. Big office. That, yeah, I think you should try. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. Yeah, uh, give me one more stealth roll, please. Okay, Michael, for my feat of stealthiness so far, would you say I've gained inspiration? No. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess the other thing... <sighs> it happened. I flew too high to the sun. <laughs> no! Oh, no! <laughs> I rolled a nat one. No! <laughs> <laughs> Plus 11, so Fucking it's... Fucking tripped on the bone. <laughs> Oh my god. So you <laughs> you uh you you know you have to go fast to get like you have to go fast to get through, right? To phase. Uh, yeah. Um and so you go real fast and uh all of the papers on uh on Lord Gorgos's desk whip off and fly up into the air. Oh, no. And shit. uh you you go right through the door, but <laughs> but uh, you see him jumping out from behind the the desk as you as you exit the room, and um, yeah, I think that's probably where we're gonna. Cut this <laughs> one. Met, Metacom six one two put the okay bye emoji in the yeah. in the chat. The thing um, is, that is the most hilarious way that could have gone. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes the the god of dice is like, you know what? Let's keep succeeding because I'm gonna, I'll get you later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's exactly what it was. Um, that was great. That was great. Speaking of succeeding your whole life and making good things happen, uh, leaving reviews on podcasts is good. Let's read it. Quayberg from Sweden says, "Love you. I love you so much. I love your character so much. King Titus Harper was an important thing in my life, and I hate thrifty forever." <laughs> Later, I've listened to all of the Drunks and Dragons and Random Encounters. I must mention Sailor Moon. Sailor Moon Bear is the best character ever. Uh, Bobby Tables says, good job. Uh, true crime at its best. <laughs> Zozo365. Sly friendship. Having moved to oh. London to do my master's degree, I often get homesick. Whenever I feel lonely due to the time difference between me and my fam, I listen to this podcast. I don't feel so alone. I've listened to the first 68 episodes this month. I'm so excited to get caught up. Makes me excited to get my campaign back together when I get them. Angry Sora says, I'm, if you're seeing this, I'm sorry I fucked up. I accidentally reviewed like three times, but you guys deserve it. No, you're doing, you good, you're doing it in the large Yeah, that's not fucking up. And uh, Limrock from the United Kingdom says, couldn't resist. I told myself that I would wait until I caught up before, before I left the review. Why? Alas, after hearing the reviews read in episode 281, I couldn't hold back anymore. You guys have made something beautiful. I hope to one day share a, f a five and a half year journey with my best friends. Oh. Same. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. Really Your chemistry wow. is great and you always kick it out of the park. I have, it's taking me more than a year to make it this far, and I'm terrified to be caught up and have to wait to hear more. Keep rocking till you start dropping. Bananas Foster says, we agree, so we do it. I love this podcast. I got into uh, pod, this podcast about two years ago. but stop Tim, 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 Tim. You said Bananas Foster wrote this review? Uh -huh. What? He's alive! <laughs> <laughs> I love this podcast. I got so into this podcast two years ago, but stopped because I forgot which episode I was on. I spent the last two months catching up, and I've just gotten to episode 170. I love the cast and the way that traits complement each other. I especially love the characters Mike Bachman play and how chaotic they are. While Tom was my favorite, Jet Razor is a close second. Keep up the amazing work. I'm walking here. <laughs> Talkman, did you finally review us? Yeah, is that you? I've never <laughs> seen you poke into this before. They have iTunes in hell. 
our rock and swimmer uh, says uh, i don't think the dog speaks vagina uh, if the title of this review offends you, this show is not for you. Else, enjoy on my second attempt to catch up from the beginning. So glad I did. Thanks for the content, y'all. Uh, Rockadilio says, "Good day, mate. Love this podcast. It, it's it's great to listen to when you're throwing another beaver on the Barbie <laughs> and drinking the back flip fifty while comparing knives with local street toughs. Hey." It's so funny. I snort Vegemite poutine out of my nose. I've run out on Australian stereotypes with the Canadian spin. In all seriousness, this is a terrific podcast for anyone who likes to laugh. Beware, though, if you listen to this podcast out in public, you'll have fits of uncontrollable laughter, which will result in strangers looking at you funny. Keep up the great work. Melindra says, this show is a bingo. <laughs> like, er, my gird, I love you guys. Bingo night was a total blast. You really know how to get wrecked on that silvery weed oil. Keep up the good times and the like. Whenever you're in Mastwick next, make sure to drop by the bingo hall again to party with your girls. Love ya. Mean it. Kissy noises. <laughs> I want to go party in a bathroom with them. Yeah, oh, absolutely. I'm going to compliment them <laughs> so hard. Um, we're not making much headway in reviews, but you know what? We're, we're thank there. you so much, everyone. We're getting there. We're at we're April, along. April 8th. Woo! Know? Hey, man, yeah. that's something. That's, that's something. four months away. Yeah. Exactly. What? Progress. Oh, shit. Um, Why'd you say if you uh, mm. If you want to get in touch with us, we're on Twitter. We're at Geekly Inc. or at DND Podcast. We're also on Instagram at uh, Greetings Adventures. Greetings Adventures. Yeah. Um, which is very good. So go check that out. Our Instagram uh, got good all of a sudden. I don't know what happened. Yeah. It's so good. Good. <laughs> Thanks, Mika. It. Um, you can find me on Instagram at Thrifty Nerd. You can find me on Instagram at Tim Lanning. I, I uh, that's not my Instagram. You can find me on Twitter at Jennifer Cheek. <laughs> you can find me on Twitter at Nika underscore Howard. You can find me on MySpace. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at the Mike Bachman. Didn't get your fill of action and adventure in this episode of Greetings Adventures? Well, make sure to head over to geeklink.com where you can find other thrilling podcasts, fan art to make you blush, and gear to level up your adventuring quest. When you've finished utilizing those short rests, head on over to Apple Podcasts or your other podcast app of choice to leave us a five-star rating and review. Also, don't forget to head over to patreon.com slash dndpodcast. Once you become a patron, you have access to exclusive content that you won't be able to find anywhere else. New episodes come out every Monday, so go subscribe, get your quest log filled, and get ready for things to get dicey. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next time. Until then, keep it dicey. Bye, 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 bye. Was that, was that fucking face from Nick Jr.? What was that? What? Oh, yeah. Y'all remember Face? I do remember that. Yeah, he's like... Burr, burr, burr. Oh, oh, my God. Yes. Hey, it's me, Face. 326? Yeah. 326. Today's been, like, an extremely nostalgia day. I'm only a, a, a stick, stickly stand, and that's it. <gasps> no, I like to be stick, stickly, P.O. Box 963, New York City, New York State, York State. 101. <laughs> <laughs> uh... What just happened? <laughs> I love Stick Stickly. Hey, suck my dick. It's just going to work, Stick Stickly. Wow, oh. Stick Stickly is I'm gonna, scandal. I'm going to look up Stick Stickly. Is he uh, another Nick Jr.? Yeah. He's like, yeah, Nickelodeon. He's like Nickelodeon. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's he's like, like, clearly he's older. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell by the course his, later. His face, his face is like, we're going to do the ABCs. And then you get to the Nickelodeon block. And he's like, what the fuck, kids? The fuck? I'm not even supposed to be here. <laughs> I almost wanted to do the lady luck joke. <laughs> lady luck. <laughs> fuck. I'm oh, a no! dead man. <laughs> I'm a dead elf. Uh, I have to go to bed. I'm sleepy. I have to watch my goop and then regoop myself and then yep. go to bed. Every time I yell too loud, Amelia moves in her crib, so I gotta go. Bye. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. It was fun. Thank you. Thank you. See you in two weeks. Good Bye. night. New York City, New York State, 101. Oh, wait.